Kituo cha mafunzo ya jamii ya Orion al maarufu Orion Community Training Center iligunduliwa kwa mara ya kwanza mwaka wa na tano baada ya kujulikana kwenye parokia na eneo jirani kwamba zaidi ya familia milioni arobaini ikiwa pamoja na watoto na vijana walikuwa wamelemavu wa kimaendeleo. Kundi moja lililojulikana kama The Sons of Divine Providence ambalo lilitwikwa jukumu la kuitumikia parokia kwa kufuata haiba ya mwanzilishi liliamua kujenga kituo kwa ajili ya walemavu. Kituo hicho ambacho leo kinajulikana na kazi ya isani miongoni mwa walemavu kwenye jamii inayowazunguka ina nia ya kudumisha ukuzaji wa watoto pamoja na vijana walio na ulemavu na kuwafunza madili ya Kikristo, elimu bora na urekebishaji tabia. Orione's leadership prepared a strategic plan with a mission to expand the promotion and inclusion of children and youth with disabilities while providing them with Christian values, quality education and rehabilitation. Kisa cha kwanza cha virusi vya corona kiliporipotiwa humu nchini mwezi Machi mwaka huu kituo hichi cha Orione kilifikia hatua ya kuzinua familia hizi za walemavu kwa njia ya kipekee. But something unique with us is that we started following up on our special students through safe, safe home visits and thereafter providing them with home based learning and rehabilitation by visiting them once per week and sending them and their families food packs and vitamin C supplements Kulingana na Richard Magana meneja wa miradi kwenye kituo hicho wanafunzi sitini na watano wameweza kupokea huduma za afya huku watoto hamsini wanaoishi na ulemavu kutoka kwenye jamii wameweza kupokea malezi bora na upatanisho mzuri toka kwa wanajamii. And on a highlight 65 students have received health and medical intervention in form of medical exams, tests and treatment. 150 children from our community have also received formation about integration and acceptance of children living with disabilities. Siku ya kimataifa ya watu wanaoishi na ulemavu kote ulimwenguni iliadhimishwa katika kituo cha mafunzo ya jamii ya Orione al maarufu Orione Community Training Center kama njia moja wapo ya kuwafariji na kuwapa mkono wa heri wale mavu wote ambao mara nyingi hukumbana na unyanyapaa toka kwa watu wa karibu na jamii inayowazunguka kwa jumla. Unyanyapaa ambao unazidi kuwatoa mioyo ya wengi zaidi wale mavu umesababisha huzuni, aibu na kujitenga miongoni mwa mambo mengine. Upande wake mbunge wa Kajiado Kaskazini Joseph Manje aliwahimiza watu kukaa pamoja na watu wenye ulemavu na kwamba wasiwakandamize kwa njia yoyote. Uh, it is a bit unfortunate that uh, our culture some of our cultures uh, despise people living with disability. You will find that uh, somebody gives birth with somebody with a person with disability and then they refuse to bring the, them up to be helped by the community. So it is upon us people who are able to come together and try to elevate uh, in way, one way or another. Mbunge huyo aliongezea kwamba serikali kuu inawatambua watu wenye ulemavu kwa kufanya jitihada za kuwatengea viti ama nafasi mbalimbali katika serikali ili kuzitawala. At national level we recognize that we have our members of our community living with disability and uh, in parliament we introduced persons living with disability act that safeguards the rights of people living with disability and also uh, how they can access education in our country katika kiwango cha ubunge mbunge huyo aliongezea kwamba ofisi yake imebuni mpango wa kujiunga kwa njia ya moja kwa moja na walemavu kwa kuwapa viti maalum ya walemavu naibu wa gavana katika kaunti ya Kajiado Martin Moshisho katika maadhimisho hayo alisisitiza kwamba watu wenye ulemavu wana haki sawa na kwamba waonyeshwe upendo na amani sehemu zote walipo people with disability have equal rights in this world. These are people who need to be given dignity, respect and love. Alipokuwa akizungumza katika kituo hicho cha Orione, alihimiza serikali kutunga mbinu za kutetea haki za wenye ulemavu wa aina yoyote kama njia moja wapo ya kuwasaidia vilivyo. Mheshimiwa Moshisho alijitokeza kukemea unyanyapaa na kukataliwa na watu wa karibu kwa kuwa huko ni kukiuka haki za mtu na kumdunisha dhidi ya mambo yake. They are our brothers, they are our sisters, they are our parents and we need to love them. We need to take care of them. 
Kituo cha Orion kimekuwa afueni kwa wengi kiasi cha kwamba wengi wamepata usaidizi wa aina yake. Expressa Mtambi ni mamake Gideon Mangongo ambaye alijifungua mtoto wake Gideon kisha baadaye ulemavu kabisha hodi kwa mwanawe. Jambo lililomhuzunisha si haba. Anasimulia jinsi alishuhudia unyanyapaa pindi jamaa zake walipogundua mtoto wake ameonyesha dalili za ulemavu. Nilikaa kwetu nyumbani kwa muda wa miaka mitatu ikiwa nimekataliwa na kila mtu kabla nipate Gideon nilikuwa na rafiki wengi sana lakini Gideon alipopata udhaifu marafiki wote waliisha la kusikitisha ni kwamba mume wake alimtoroka baada ya kupata taarifa ya ulemavu wa mwanawe akidai ameleta kisirani na laana katika familia yake babake aliposikia hivyo aliniacha akaniambia ya kuwa Familia yetu na uko haina ulemavu umeleta laana katika familia Alimeza funda chungu moyoni akahuzunika lakini baada ya kujiunga na kituo cha walemavu cha Orion alipata fwini mwanawe aliyekataliwa akakubalika mikononi mwa watu waliomtendea ubinadamu Gideon Felix Juma kituo cha mafunzo ya jamii ya Orion kaunti ya Kajiado